We've already written the increment miles, or we already, I guess, wrote the method header. We declared the increment miles driven method. The body is still blank as it should be because we're going to write the test first and then we're going to come back and fill in this code later. We also declared the get miles driven method and left the body as blank as it could be. We still had to return something. I realized I made a mistake in the code that I provided you. And so I want to fix that now before we go and write our test. Because we have to basically get this file to compile. And right now it won't compile because of the code I gave you. Okay? So here's how we're going to fix that. We're going to basically go through all the additional methods that just to save us time and because they're very similar that I wrote and gave you. And we're going to comment out um, the code I wrote. So here's increment fuel consumed, which basically you can imagine this being called by like another piece of code from the car saying like, hey, I burned half a gallon of fuel. I burned three gallons of fuel. We're just going to comment out that line of code. Here's our accessor method, get fuel consumed. We're just going to comment out this line of code and instead say return 0.0. .0. We still have to return a value or else it won't compile. We're going to just say return 0.0. .0. Here's the method get mileage. We're going to comment out both of these lines and similarly say return 0.0. .0. And I should have done this all up front. I just I wasn't thinking far enough ahead. Um, we also have methods to get an accessor and a mutator and a get and a set method to set the VIN, which is the vehicle identification, um, a way of uniquely identifying a car. So we're going to comment out get VIN and replace it by returning an empty string, which is double quote, double quote, semicolon, like that. And then we're going to comment out the set VIN method as well. At this point, you should be able to hit the compile button and we should get class compiled, no syntax errors. That's where we want to be. 